Welcome back to Inside Post Challenge, part of the Road to the Triple Crown, sponsored by Adequan. Week one of the contest, going to take a look at the Fountain of Youth Stakes from Gulfstream. Hi everyone, I'm Tom Law. I'm joined once again by Ed DeRosa. Ed has gone back to his bourbon tie this week. I have. Care to explain? Well, I said I'd get a new tie after you uh, poked fun at it last week when I picked a winner. And I haven't picked a winner, so I still have this tie. And I'm pretty confident, though, in this week. And this week it counts, so I'm pretty excited. Well, let's hope after two weeks now you can maybe drop it off of the dry cleaner, get it cleaned up, and uh, have a winner and boost your wallet a little bit. I haven't spilled any salsa on it, so that alone is a small victory. But I'm looking for a big victory in the that Fountain of Youth. Good, good. Well, week one of the challenge this week, like we said, Phasic Tipton Fountain of Youth. Week one of 16 races in the contest this week. We're going to go from the Fountain of Youth all the way through the Belmont Stakes. You're going to want to make sure you get signed in, get your selections in in time to get part of the, be part of the contest. First prize in the contest this year, very similar to last year. Two oh. tickets to Breeders' Cup Friday and Breeders' Cup Saturday. The World Championships? You know it. At Churchill Downs. At Churchill Downs. Wow. So that's a pretty good prize. Two Absolutely. tickets Friday, two tickets Saturday. Second place and third place will get two tickets to Saturday's Breeders' Cup program at Churchill Downs. So good times. It's all about the Breeders' Cup, but let the Breeders' Cup come a little bit later. Let's get to the <laughs> Triple Crown. Yes, let's. Yeah, Fountain of Youth, Ed. This is sort of the second uh, stop on the Gulfstream Trail after the Holy Bull of last month. Now we're going to go to the Phasic Tipton Fountain of Youth. Features the return of none other than <laughs> to honor and serve. Winner of the Rems in last year. Also won a stakes race on, on Breeders' Cup Day. Speaking of the Breeders' Cup, he won the Nashua at Aqueduct. Uh, sort of his coming out party. It's, he's making his seasonal debut this year. He's, you know, on a lot of people's lists as like the second horse, you know, the second best horse maybe. A lot of people rank him number two. Right. I don't rank him. I, I had him ranked number two on my poll this week. What do you think about this race? Well, being by Bernardini, I think he's the type where if he has a really breakout performance in his three-year-old debut, I could see some people even moving him up to the one spot for a derby poll based on pedigree, given Uncle Mo. Some have distance questions with him. I actually don't have to honor and serve ranked at all. I have a Remsen bias. I don't think the race has proven to be a great indicator of three-year-old performance on the Triple Crown Trail. He certainly looks the best in this field, but given how I feel about him going forward. I have to pick against him and hopefully it'll lead to a new tie. I actually like Shackelford to his outside from the Dale Romans bar, barn. I love the dam Oatsy. She's the dam of Lady Joni who has gone long one at Saratoga going a mile and a quarter. So I think Shackelford stands to improve and he's my pick here. Well, we also got a couple other ones in here. Soldat who comes off of, you know, romping win in the slop at Gulfstream. You know, certainly has a has a win over the course. We're going to find out about you know his true quality maybe on a fast track down there. Right. Although he has run on uh, a fast dirt track uh, or, or a muddy muddy track and, and a good track mm -hmm. uh, in New York as a two year old. And then you also have Gourmet Dinner in here. You know, Gourmet Dinner is the kind of horse that shows up on a lot of people's uh, past performances. A lot of horses' past performances that are running down there in Florida. He ran the Florida Stallion Stakes last year. And he ran in a, a really, really good race to dialed in. I thought he was third in there. You know, he's a horse that pretty much gives it to you every time and makes his run every time. So, you know, it's to honor and serve. You like Shackelford. I'm going to go with Gourmet Dinner in the Fountain of Youth. Nice exact of force if we hit it. Don't forget to get signed in and get your picks in for the Inside Post Challenge, week number one, Fountain of Youth Stakes. <laughs>